Two local Catholic high schools have released their reopening plans. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker is joining us live from Bishop Kenny in St. Nicholas, where Marilyn, like all the schools we've heard from, the emphasis is on health and safety. That's right. Bishop Kenny and Bishop Johnson, uh, excuse me, Bishop John J. Snyder have done so. The superintendent of schools for the diocese tells me each school has created its own timeline for posting the plans publicly, but says many of them have sent plans out directly to parents. The Diocese of St. Augustine manning private schools in several counties, all gathering plans for reopening schools in just a few weeks. While some of the plans are similar, Superintendent Deacon Scott J. Conway says the schools customize plans to fit individual needs. Is it safe to say that all of the schools will be returning to campus as far as having everyone on campus? When we talk about Catholic schools, yes, our Catholic schools will open. We will have uh, everyone returning to the campus. Uh, for those that have medical reasons where they can't return to the campus, we will be offering a medical virtual learning um, for those families uh, until time be where they can return back to the school and back to the classroom. At Bishop Kenny, face masks will be required, but not when students or teachers are socially distanced. They are required on buses and drivers will take students' temperatures before boarding. Teachers will be trained on health screenings to identify symptoms. This followed by deep cleaning and active social distancing. We also had to make sure that we would have proper sanitation in place. So we purchased electrostatic sprayers throughout the diocese so that we could combat uh, the COVID-19 virus and many other illnesses um, by electrostatically spraying our facilities every day. And at Bishop John J. Snyder, face masks are required for all staff, faculty and students in solid colors only. Everyone entering campus past the main office will wear a mask. Outside the school entrances, there will be marks to follow for social distancing. They will have temperature checks. The letter to parents also says if a student and his or her family member is in a high risk group, the school will give them the option to continue distance learning where they can participate in real time classes. This option must be approved by the principal. And coming up at 6, we'll look at a few more plans from private schools in our area. We're live near Bishop Kenny, Maryland Parker, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Maryland. To get new information on school reopening, sign up for our Facing the Fall newsletter. In the latest edition, you will find an article about the city of Jacksonville offering free COVID-19 testing for public school students and employees. You will also find a place for you to ask questions. To sign up, go to newsforjax.com newsletters.